Good morning. This is Keller Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your weekend. We also have your boredom busters coming up, but first, our top story. Uh, the Sioux Falls police are urging New Year's Eve partiers to celebrate safely tonight. Law enforcement say it's important for you to monitor your alcohol intake and keep an eye out for impaired drivers and for people walking outside. Most importantly, make sure if you're drinking to have a designated driver. If you see something that just doesn't seem quite right, that's something you should be calling. And, and if it's not an emergency, you don't have to call 911. You can call the non-emergency number, which is 367-7000. There will be extra police officers and highway patrol troopers throughout Sioux Falls and across the state since the holiday falls on a weekend. Two more South Dakotans have died due to the flu. The South Dakota Department of Health continues to report widespread flu activity. 53% of the flu cases confirmed by the health department last week were in patients under the age of 18. At the Sanford Castle, pediatricians like Dr. Jody Huber have seen their share of cases. She says they're hoping that flu season will be winding down soon. We're not quite sure what to expect this season. Um, it seems that the seasonality of our viruses seems to be a little bit off ever since uh, COVID. But you're right that our um, usually we see the peak somewhere in February or March, and this year it seems to be earlier. We're guesstimating that it'll probably peak somewhere around now and hopefully go down, but we're not quite sure if it's just going to stay high for a while or if it will go down. Dr. Huber says if kids are having trouble breathing or are not drinking enough fluids, parents should take them to their pediatrician or emergency room doctor right away. Well, nobody matched all six numbers in last night's $685 million Mega Millions drawing. That means Tuesday night's drawing will be worth an estimated $785 million. The numbers drawn were 1, 3, 6, 44, 51, with the Mega Ball of 7. One ticket in Ohio matched five numbers for a $1 million prize. The odds of winning the big jackpot are 1 in 302 million. A Sioux Falls homeless shelter will enter the new year with a lot of recovery work to do. First pipe at the Union Gospel Mission the day after Christmas sent water from floor to floor. The water damaged everything from bedding to clothing in the thrift store. We're um, taking all the humidity out of the walls and out of the air. We're drying all the wood, um, changing lights that got damaged. Um, and just going through the process of rebuilding. The burst pipes displaced nearly 40 women and children. They're staying with other organizations while the mission repairs the damages. To find out how to help the shelter, head to this story here on Kelloland.com. Let's take a first look at the forecast now with meteorologist Scott Munt in the Storm Center. Good morning, Scott. All right, good morning, Perry. Good morning, everybody. We continue to watch uh, the storm system for early next week. In the meantime, for today and tomorrow, it looks like mostly dry skies. We have some areas of fog this morning, mainly across north central South Dakota. That will try to slowly go away. Temperatures today will hit the 20s, 30s, and 40s for afternoon highs. And then we already have winter storm watch. Uh, that goes in effect Monday, last through Tuesday. That's across southwestern South Dakota and the parts of central, south central Kettle Land, and it does extend to the east and southeast. Other more details on your forecast coming up. All right, thank you very much, Scott. Well, there are plenty of ways to ring in the new year tonight, including a celebration at the Multicultural Center in Sioux Falls. The staff with South Dakota Urban Indian Health is setting up for their first ever New Year's Eve sobriety wachipi. I know New Year's Eve is definitely one of those holidays that it's kind of tricky and it's hard to, you know, stay in and be strong. So coming out and celebrating this way in a good way and with our relatives is obviously something that we want our, our people in recovery to be a part of. The Sobriety Watch EP is open to people of all ages. The door is open at the Multicultural Center at 6 p.m. The grand entry is at 7 p.m. Food and special t-shirts will be available for purchase. Prizes will be given away throughout the night. A round of dance will take place at midnight. Noon Year's Eve is a daytime year-end celebration for kids at the Washington Pavilion. Children and their parents can count down to noon with mascot Radley Rex as hundreds of balloons fall to the floor in the Kirby Science Discovery Center. Bring in the new year at Great Bear Ski Valley in Sioux Falls. Great Bear has extended holiday hours from 9 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. for skiing, snowboarding, and tubing. Fireworks will follow at midnight. Other New Year's Eve celebrations include a Great Gatsby Bash at Prairie Green Golf Course in Sioux Falls starting at 8 o'clock. The Ron Keel Band performs at the Elride Shrine in downtown Sioux Falls at 8 o'clock. 
The Johnny Home Band plays at the Grand Falls Casino and Resort in Larchwood, Iowa at 9. Therapy Funk performs at the Dada Gastro Pub in Sioux Falls at 9. The Stampede Hockey Team takes on the Madison Capitals at the Denny Sanford Premier Center. The puck drops at 6.05. And the Sky Force Basketball Team is in action against the Ontario Clippers. Tip-off at the Sanford Pentagon is at 7.05. Scott? And in weather, left you with this. Uh, we'll start with this. Uh, winter storm watch in effect Monday through Tuesday. It covers southwestern, south central South Dakota to the east and to the southeast. You know, periods of heavy snow will be possible probably Monday night into Tuesday. As we go through the day on Monday, we'll have increasing chances for snow. This wintry mix here in southeastern Kettleland can contain freezing rain. This is something else that we will watch Monday evening going into early Monday night. Once we see that switch over to snow, we could have periods of heavy snow in south central and southeastern South Dakota and Minnesota and northwestern Iowa. That's when I think we'll have our heaviest snow is during that time period, a Monday night into Tuesday morning. The snow will slowly come to an end as we hit Tuesday evening and Tuesday night. The amount of moisture out of this looking very impressive for a January system. We could double the amount of moisture that we typically get through the whole month of January as that bullseye is trying to set up right over Yankton. And the chances of getting three inches or more of snowfall looking rather high in south central, the southeastern South Dakota and Minnesota. Even six inches or more looking healthy from southwestern Minnesota to southeastern South Dakota. We'll have to watch the wind too because the winds will pick up, especially Monday night into Tuesday. By the time we do hit late morning hours, Tuesday into the early afternoon, we're talking wind gusts over 40 to near 50 miles per hour for some. That's as the snow falls and those two things combined. We are looking at blizzard conditions late Tuesday morning into Tuesday afternoon. As you see, the winds continuing to gust over 30 miles per hour during the late afternoon and early evening hours. And again, we may see periods of freezing rain as we go Monday evening into early Monday night in southeastern Kettleland. Here's our forecast today. Temperatures will reach the 20s, 30s, and 40s for afternoon highs. Tonight will fall to the teens and 20s. And then for tomorrow, expect afternoon highs in the 20s and 30s. You can always check the details of the seven-day forecast while you're here online. Have a great weekend and a happy new year.